Hi guys and girls, Swiss Bohemian here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I show you a small part of my Dojinji collection. If you think Dojinji are manga fanzines containing mainly sexually explicit material, you're partly wrong and let me tell you why. The Japanese term Dojinji is made up of two words, two expressions. First, Dojin, which literally means same person, as in person with the same goal and interest, and Shi, which is a suffix which means periodical publication. So doujinji are self-published print works such as manga, magazines and novels. A major part of doujinji are amateur comics, so comics by non-professionals, by fans, for fans. However, some professional manga and anime artists also publish doujinji. In this case, a doujinji by a certain artist can be a collection of drawings, of sketches, of line art, or in the case of an artist working in animation, a collection of key animation drawings. I've got here six doujinji which are exactly that. Collections of key animation drawings and sketches by certain professional artists. First, three doujinji by Michitaka Kikuchi, an illustrator, animator and manga artist, better known under his pen name Kia Asamiya for the 90s anime and manga hit Silent Mebius. I have three of his six existing doujinji called Rough. First, Rough File 2 then file 3 and file 4. These three doujinji were published back in 1996 to 97 and I've got them back in 1999 during my first trip to Japan. I think I found them in one of the Mandarake stores in Tokyo. Rough file 2 contains concept artwork and illustrations for the manga and anime Martian successor Nadeshko. Nadeshko was quite popular in the late 90s. I haven't seen the anime except the first two episodes, and I know one of its titular characters, uh, she's called Ruri Hoshino, but that's it. I basically know Nadeshko only by name. I love the opening of the anime though. File 3 contains artwork of Silent Mobius and designs for a game called White Diamond. And File 4 contains artwork of Silent Mobius, for example, sketches for calendars, sketches of illustrations for anime magazines and other similar artwork. A special thing about these Dojinji is flip them and you get Dojinji by Michitaka Kikuchi, Kia Asamiya's real name. In this case, uh, file 4 contains sketches and drawings for an OVA, an anime called uh, Hades Project Zero Rhymer. I hope I pronounce it correctly. File 3 contains sketches for some CDs and other merchandise from the Dragon Quest game universe, but also for Street Fighter 2 and the Silent Mobius visual novel for PC called Case Titanic. And file 2 then contains plenty of sketches and key animation drawings of Magic Star Magical Emmy, a Magical Girl TV series by Stagio Piero. So let's take a look at Kia Asamiya's Rough File 2. Now let's flip it and you get the side of Michitaka Kikuchi, his work for Magical Star Magical Emmy. I gotta be careful with this one here because it contains some nudity. I love these successions of detailed key drawings. You get an idea of how much work is behind individual animation cuts. Here is Amiya's work on White Diamond and Silent Mobius. This elf here looks like Dida from Record of Lodos War. It's not her, but Asamiya admits himself that this character is based on Dido or uh, Didlet or whatever she's called in the West. Now Michitaka Kikuchi's Rough File 3.
And finally row 4, first the Kia Asamiya side. This illustration here was done for a garage kit package. I think this is for one of the manga volumes. And this one here was an illustration for a calendar and I remember it was used for the cover of one of the Animerica magazines back in the 90s. I hope you liked the first three doujinshi so far. Let's continue. I have some more by professional artists. Key animation drawings for an anime which you probably all know. Toradora. As you can tell, this is quite a thick doujinshi. I haven't counted the pages, but let's have a look. 255 pages and it was published in 2009. If you like the anime, this is, in my opinion, an absolute must-have. This is from episode 4, I think, the one where Taiga is swimming. Again, look at these details. There's a whole sequence. At the end, there are some illustrations. Again, really nice illustrations. Then I got the similar doujinshi, again a collection of key animation drawings mostly. For an anime most of you know, it's Squid Girl, Invader Squid Girl. Again, you get some really nice drawings at the end of the doujinshi. And these are again drawings made in commemoration of the ending of the production. So they were meant for uh, internally for the staff. That is a great one here. And finally a doujinshi by professional artists who work on an anime called Marin Tomeran or Brigadoon and Geo Breeders. This is Geo Breeders. That was like a short TV series. So this anime, Brigadoon, by the way, also came out in the States. I have uh, some of the DVDs. I got actually five of the DVDs, but there's a sixth one I'm still missing. This looks like a very kitty friendly show, but it's not, it's quite dark and it's amazing. So this was my first video of a part of my doujinshi collection, I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments down below which of these doujinshi you know or you would like to have in your collection. Thanks for watching until the end and see you next time, goodbye.